Hey friends, so let's talk about power chords just a little more. A little couple of points is uh, knowing the names of them. I know some people just are never going to do that. <laughs> I accept that, but uh, it, it would be really good for communication if you did. So let's name them after the root note. Root, root. So let's have the root, root, root on the sixth string. So for the E5 power chord, the root is open E. Sorry about that. It's too easy. Next, uh, let's do an F. If you play on the first fret of the sixth string and make a power chord, that's an F5. Let's go up a whole step to G, third fret. Fifth fret is A5. Seventh fret, B5. Eighth fret, C5. Tenth fret, D5. And uh, twelfth fret, E5. All right, and so forth. You'll need to learn the sharps and flats and also learn them on the next string, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. I think I just drooled a little bit. All right. Besides that, you have to play them with a little bit of conviction. So I see my students kind of trying a little bit of that. That's cool, but their fingers are just kind of, you know. We got to do better than that. You got to get a, a good, commanding, solid, punchy, crunchy sound. So... A good exercise is something like this. Keeping your shape intact between, you know, sliding. If I know if I watched my students do this, they would go. <laughs> Sorry. You've got to press down a little harder and develop some strength in your hand. And I think some of that might be mental, of that you you have to press hard enough, plus build the strength and uh, do enough repetition. So if you're pressing hard and strumming it good, it should sound like... Something like that. Just general stuff that you got to do. So like, um, yeah, you got to move that shape around. So check out this. I kind of messed it up. That's not that easy. You'd think that would be stupid, but it's actually, Iron Man's a little tricky. So, just trying to keep that shape intact, and I sort of smeared the chords both times. Let's try a third time. Strike three, I suck. All right. <laughs> uh... Like I was saying, don't make that buzzy sound. <laughs> All right, so you can just jam them out maybe in a row like a. Pretty stupid, but I love it. I love that. kind of bonehead rock and roll stuff is actually really cool when you consider all the tinkly twinkly pop music with like finger snaps and hand claps and dumb keyboards and whatever i love it but gee whiz let's have some crunchy rock and roll so uh yeah man just learn those chords move them around uh let's see if i can do one more little song Something like that, you know, or how about...
that's difficult. But yeah, you have to kind of hit them consistently with your picking hand. You know, hit it hard enough. Don't kind of, you know, I hear that so much that kind of, you know, give me a good strum. Like, <laughs> it's cool. I understand, but I'm just trying to get the process going with, with my students to where you just get a little bit mean, force it a little bit, put a little bit of energy and, uh, you know, effort into forming your chords, playing with confidence, play them nice and full. Don't just get like a little scratchy sound, get a full chord. That's what I'm kind of shooting for. All right, enough of that. You know what to do. Do it.